Hi everyone, I'm in Boulder, Colorado once again at NCAR, the National Center for Atmospheric Research, which is set right next to the Flatirons, an amazing location. So today I want to talk to you about a new technique that I developed called what I call the Taurus Breath. In recent months, the Taurus, the geometric pattern, energetic pattern, keeps coming up in my mind and through synchronicity. So I started to learn more about it and not being a scientist in any way, but more of an intuitive, I felt that there's a lot to explore here because the Taurus or the toroidal energetic pattern is in existence in everything from an atom to uh, humans, animals, to the cosmos and infinity. It's in everything. So I think that if we connect to this consciously, it will help in many ways. I probably will have a second video on this to update because I think there's a lot to add to this. But just starting with this Taurus breath, connecting to the love that we are. That's what we're going to do today. So I was talking to Michael in recent days and all of a sudden it just came over me and I just got up and did this and I'm sure he was directing me. Um, it helps to look at the image or a video of the toroidal pattern and what it, the donut shape that it looks like so that you get a feel for it, because I think having your imagination involved is important. Since we can't see it, it's there, but we just can't see it. But moving into this in a conscious way, and understanding the toroidal energy, it's kind of like um, living life consciously versus unconsciously when it comes to being creators. We, can, we create all the time, unconsciously, but when we consciously create, we tune into our thoughts, feelings, words, and actions and make them as positive as we possibly can. Then we are conscious creators of our lives. And so if we consciously work with the toro toroidal energy, I think it would be amazing. So this is just my feeling on this and my technique, but I want to perfect it. I want to share this with you, and please, if you have any comments or suggestions or responses, please put them in the comments below, and we'll help each other. Basically, when you're doing the Taurus breath, You just stand and center yourself and imagine the Taurus, that you are the Taurus. Now there's diff different directional flows of the Taurus from what I understand. Usually you see the energy coming up and then out and then up through the donut shape. There's a channel and out. And again, look at the image so you can see what happens to the energy. You can connect it to the flower of life, which is connected to the Taurus. So find out your own way to see this. So that's one way. The other way I see is this way. And then there's imagine you are the globe of the earth. And here's the equator and it goes out from the equator and down into the north and south poles. For this technique, we're gonna do the first two directional flows and see how it goes. So, the main thing is that we really wanna focus on the heart and love. As Michael says, the phrase, I am love, we're going to work with I am love and you are love. Because what you give, you return. And this world needs a lot of love.
going to start down here on the intake of breath saying, I am love. Pausing at the heart, really feeling it on that intake. And then exhaling, you are love. I am love on the intake, you are love. I like to do things eight times, infinity. Since eight stands for infinity, it feels right for me, but you do it the way you wish. So here we go. Just close your eyes and imagine that Taurus. You are the Taurus. So, I am love, feeling it in my heart. You are love. I am love. You are love. I am love. You are love. I am love. You are love. And then you do that eight times in total. Now we're going to do it in reverse. Starting here, breathing in. I am love. I am love, you are love. And again, do that eight times, whatever you wish. So, let me know how you feel. I feel awesome right now. <laughs> it really does something to the energy field. It, it's empowering. It's consciously empowering, and I'm sure it's subconsciously empow empowering. Um, give it a chance and let me know how you feel. I think it's a good practice to have every day. I'm also going to have a... Uh, uh, film my magnet to love meditation which I've shared many times but I've never had on video I'm going to make that as a separate video but that in connection with the Taurus breath I think is a great way to start your day or add to your day um, helping the world and ourselves so thank you so much for listening please please share if this resonates and help me get this message out and I look forward to seeing you soon.